What's up guys, it's your boy, the BFA Games here And welcome, welcome to a new episode Well, a re-episode of the simulated World Cup on the FIFA 23 You guys were smashing it with the last video You guys seem to enjoy it very much And um, I saw a few comments below about people complaining about Kind of the places where teams would finish Didn't like the fact they were upsets So... As there's been an update on the roster obviously like we're well into the world cup at the moment and uh the teams have been updated so we're gonna see if an updated roster will have a huge effect on the simulation of uh of of uh the world cup so we're gonna go again I've, as you can see i've selected most of the teams and let's see if we're gonna get completely different result all right let's get into this okay so we go into this um the first group or the first game of the group and um well there's been two games so far so senegal and qatar have had two games and senegal won both of them qatar have won three and it was uh netherlands and ecuador lost both of them england won their first game against iran usa 2-1 against wales and then wales and iran drew against each other very tight affair in this group 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 b for group c argentina won convincingly against saudi arabia unlike real life and then mexico lost to poland so it's three points to both argentina and poland and then france won very convincingly against australia just like real life and then denmark beat tunisia 2-1 and then germany and spain the lead both winning germany convincing win against japan <coughs> morocco uh, in the lead against uh, Croatia, big shock, and then Belgium and Canada drew, and then Brazil smashed Serbia 3 1, kind of like real life, and then Cameroon beat Switzerland 2 1, and then Portugal beat Ghana 1 0, and then Uruguay and Korea drew 1 0. Right, so we're going to our second second game of the group stages, and as you can see, Senegal 12 really played six six points to Senegal three Netherlands also won their game and also now the United States are in the lead they beat US they beat England 1-0 big shock and then Wales and Iran are still yet to play are still at one point Poland are now in the lead they beat they beat um and Mexico beat Argentina 3-2 so it's 4-3-3 one very tight affair in this group C any team can really go through at this moment in time France convincingly on the lead to beat Denmark 3-1. They're pretty much through. Tunisia and Denmark is up for them. And then Germany also in the lead. Six six points. They're pretty much through. And then it's between Spain and Costa Rica. Cor Morocco are in the lead as well. Morocco are pretty much through. They also won their game against, against Belgium. 2-0. And then Croatia and Belgium is between those two. And then Brazil and Cameroon four points each switzerland serbia they were within a chance to win go either way in this group very tight affair with both draws in the, the game so far korea republic in the league four points four points between korea and portugal and then two against uruguay ghana pretty much out there's no chance we can all right win. so into the last game of the group stages and senegal are in the lead three out of three matches and the netherlands are coming behind and Qatar did well in this World Cup as well. United States in the lead, three three wins between them. England coming second as well. Mexico and Poland, Argentina are out. Damn, Messi. Messi again has been unfortunate in this simulation. Big up Mexico and Poland as well. Very, very tight between those three teams. And then France obviously going through with Denmark coming in second. No surprise there. And then Germany and Spain are also through. No surprise there. They pretty much took most of the points. But Morocco and Morocco did a madness, and you got Croatia as well coming in second. Belgium out, shocking performance from them. And then we got Brazil convincingly through, and then Switzerland are the teams that went through. It's all come down to the last game of this, and they beat Serbia. That's what got them through the line. And then Portugal went through, and then Korea Republic went over, through over Ghana and Uruguay. Big result for them. So that means that Senegal will playing England in the round of 16, Mexico v Denmark, France v Poland, and the US against the, the, the Netherlands. 
and you've got Germany against Croatia, Brazil against Korea Republic, Morocco against Spain, and you've got Portugal versus Switzerland. Very interesting games right there. So we're going to simulate the game between Senegal and England. Don't worry about that. Senegal at home, England away. Well, it's not really like that because they're in Qatar. Let's simulate. 4-0 win against England. Very convincingly there. Kane and Sterling with the brace and Henderson also on the score sheet. So that means England's going to either play against Mexico or Denmark. Yeah, so let's make, so let's simulate the game against Mexico and Denmark. I'm gonna pull it on Denmark. I think they usually do one simulations. And yeah, look, I was right. Skov Olsen with the goal of the game. All right, so it's gonna be England versus Denmark in the quarters. Let's see who we get next. So we got France and Poland playing against each other. I'm gonna give it to France. Their, their team is just too good. Yep, and it's a 2-1 win. I think Kylian Mbappe, yep, got a brace as well. I know it's still like... So France, well, are either going to play the US or the Netherlands? Let's simulate the game against them too. I'm going to say the Netherlands got this, come on. Yep, that's it. Janssen with a goal of the game. So we're going to have France versus Netherlands quarter-final. So we've got Germany against Croatia. What a matchup this is. I'm going to say Germany, but we never know what can happen. Yo, and that's exactly what I was talking about. Croatia with a goal, Perisic, Havertz in the earlier minutes, and Pasalic at the end with the winning goal. So yeah, we got... Croatia are either going to be playing uh, Brazil or Korea. Brazil against Korea. Let's see. I'm going to say Brazil, but we never know. Oh my God, Korea Republic upset against Brazil. 3-2 winners. What a win this is. What a historic win this is for Korea Republic. I don't think they've been this successful since 2002. So that's a big, big win for them. All right, so we got Morocco versus Spain. Let's see if Morocco can do an upset. They were sick in the group stages. Nah, 1-0 win to Spain. And Morata with the goal. So they're either going to be playing Portugal or Switzerland. I'm going to say Portugal have got this. Let's see. Look at their squad. Look at them. They should win this. Oh, and it's a 1 0 and it's a 5 4 on penalties. Very tight affair. I think Ronaldo lost the penalty, so this Bruno Fernandes, but they still won. So it'll be Portugal against Spain. The Battle of the Iberians. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got Netherlands versus France in the quarterfinals. Let's simulate this very tight affair and the Netherlands beat France big result as well Janssen with another goal <laughs> puts him on the squeak shoot and Bergwijn as well so they'll either be facing Portugal or Spain so we got England versus Denmark a repeat of uh, I think the quarterfinals it was in the, the semi-finals of the Euros England we got this man come on yep 3-1 winners, Kane, Henderson on the short screen, Raheem Sterling as well, business bro. Alright, so England will either be playing uh, Croatia and Korea, I'm a bet it's going to be Croatia, but you never know. Korea also beat Brazil, so they're pretty good. Spain versus Portugal, we got Ronaldo versus Morata, that doesn't sound good does it? Spain came out as winners. Also a penalty shoot up. So it's, it seems like Spain are busting the penalties right now. Oh, I mean the Iberians are busting the penalties because it was Portugal that won the last penalty shoot up, but you get what I mean. Alright. 
So we've got Netherlands against Spain. So we've got the last quarterfinals coming up. <coughs> Korea versus Croatia. Yep. And Korea, Croatia beat them 2-0. Sosa, Palasic, red carded. They used to score as well. What a crazy game. So England versus Croatia. Can England get their revenge on Croatia for the 2018 final? Uh, sorry, I mean semi-finals. Can we get our vengeance right here? Can Kane get his goal? And can we get to our first World Cup final in 1966? Yes, we've done it. Shaw and Kane as well on the score sheet and Brozovic with the, with the consolation goal. So England's made it to the final for once since 1966. It's coming home, lads. It's coming home. Let's see. Let's see if we'll come home. But let's see the Netherlands and Spain first. Brilliant lineups from both teams. But Spain won it 3 2. What a game, man. Ferran, Morata, Sarabia, and then Bergwas and Blind with the score sheet. So it's going to be an England Spanish affair. And then Croatia and Netherlands will play each other in the third place playoffs. So let's simulate the third place playoffs. Croatia v Netherlands. 1 0 to Netherlands. They come third all the time. Literally, every time they play well, they always come third. They can never just win the damn thing. I've got a feel for the Netherlands. So we've got the big one England versus Spain. Very, 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 very tight affair. I don't think they've. Have England and Spain played each other? I don't even think they have. Let's simulate. Let's see. Okay, so there you have it. Spain are World Cup winners for the second time. England can get the so it's not coming home after all. Jordi Alba came in this score sheet. Brata got a red card. But who cares about that? He's won the World Cup anyway. And it goes back to the Iberians. But I must say though, from what I've seen from the World Cup, England and Spain have impressed me the most. They've played the best football. They've been the most fearful between the two sides so I can see both these teams winning this World Cup to be honest let's see um, the top scorers Benzema 5 goals in 5 he's not even at the World Cup so I don't even know why he's here Griezmann as well has been killing it as well he kills in simulations and Kazari as well name of the most assists uh, the Kov Kovacic and Brozovic also got a lot Pickford as well with three clean sheets, not many. And then Henderson with a few red cards and Glick as well. Not many red cards. But yeah. So let's see the news. Yep, you can see Amrok Laporte. Funny because he's actually French until like recently when he changed alliances. Kane got the play of the tournament, understandably. He bagged a shit ton of goals to get us to the final. Pickford got goalkeeper of the tournament as well. Then you got Benzema obviously getting the golden boot. If only he wasn't he wasn't injured. Team of the tournament: Alba, Van Dijk, Laporte, Walker, Sterling, Rice, Burgos, Torres, Kane, Bergwin. So you see, this team's more diverse. And you can see um, Laporte standing in that idol. Yeah, so this brings us to the end of this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. What do you think about this version, this simulation of uh, the World Cup? Would you say it's better than the one before? And are you happy, happy with with it more? Is it more realistic? We'll see. And uh, let me guys know what you think of the World Cup, actual World Cup so far. I'd love to see your comments below. And if you want more World Cup content like this, share a like, subscribe, tell your friends about it, and uh, hope to see you soon. All right, peace.